Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential problem. So we have 7 to the power of x plus 8 is equal to 8 to the power of x plus 7. Now, if we have something in the form a to the power of n plus m, this is equal to a to the power of n times a to the power of m. So as you can see right here, we have 7 to the power of x plus 8. This is going to equal 7 to the power of x times 7 to the power of 8. And now this is equal to a to the power of x plus 7 is equal to a to the power of x times a to the power of 7. Now, I'm going to divide both sides by 7 to the power of 8, as well as a to the power of x. So these two would cancel out. And on this side, these two would cancel out. So now we are left with 7 to the power of x. over a to the power of x is equal to a to the power of 7 over 7 to the power of 8. Now 7 to the power of x over a to the power of x is the same thing as 7 over 8 to the power of x and now this is equal to a to the power of 7 over 7 to the power of 8. Now I'm going to take the log on both sides. So now we have log of 7 over 8 to the power of x is equal to log 8 to the power of 7 over 7 to the power of 8. And the power property of logarithms states that if we have a power for the logarithm, which in this case is x, we can actually move this to the front of the logarithm. So now this is actually going to be equal to x times log 7 over 8. And if we have something in the form log a over b, this is equal to log a minus log So log 7 over 8, this is going to equal x times log 7 minus log 8. Now this is equal to log 8 to the power of 7 minus log 7 to the power of 8. Now I'm going to divide both sides by log 7 minus log 8. So now these two cancel out, and we are left with x is equal to 7 log 8 
minus 8 log 7, because remember, we're moving the exponent to the front of the logarithm, over log 7 minus log 8. Now, log 7 is actually equal to approximately 0 0.8451. And log 8, this is equal to approximately 0 0.9031. So if we plug these values in for x, we get x is equal to 7.5707. So this is our answer. And we can also write it like this. Doesn't really matter. But yeah, that's our answer. Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. So we have 4 to the power of 16 to the power of x is equal to 16 to the power of 2 to the power of x. Now, what I'm first going to do is I'm going to rewrite both of these bases, 4 and 16, as powers of 2. Now, 4... This is equal to 2 squared. And 16, this is equal to 2 to the power of 4. So now I'm going to replace these with 4 and 16. So now we have 2 squared to the power of 16 to the power of x. And now this is equal to 2 to the power of 4 to the power of 2 to the power of x. Now, if we have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 16 to, to the power of x is going to equal 2 to the power of 2 times 16 to the power of x. Now this is equal to, same thing over here, 2 to the power of 4 times 2 to the power of x. Now because both of these bases here are the same, this also means that the exponents here are the same as well, meaning 2 times 16 to the power of x is equal to 4 times 2 to the power of x. Now I'm going to replace 16 again with 2 to the power of 4. So now we get 2 times 2 to the power of 4 times x is just simply just 2 to the power of 4x is equal to. And now I'm going to replace 4 with 2 squared. So it's equal to 2 squared times 2 to the power of x. Now, 2 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 1. So now if I multiply these two, well, if we're multiplying exponents, let's say we have a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m 
plus n. So 2 to the power of 1 times 2 to the power of 4, 4x is going to equal 2 to the power of 1 plus 4x. And now this is equal to, on our right-hand side, 2 to the power of 2 times 2 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 2 plus x. Now again, because the bases are the same, this also means the exponents are the same. So now we have 1 plus 4x is equal to 2 plus x. Now if we subtract x on both sides, uh, and also subtract 1 on both sides, we get 3x is equal to 1. Now if I divide by 3 on both sides, these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to 1 over 3. So this is our answer.